Why did God create a helper for man? To fulfill his call. A woman is in the life of a man is to fulfill his call in, in God's kingdom. A woman cannot be running on her own. She has to support, help, complement the husband to fulfill his purpose that God has kept him in the kingdom. Man does not desire respect. He needs it. It's like an oxygen to him. So it is the, why, why he, he needs a respect because it is a part of his nature. That is how he is made. He is a part of the nature. He is a leader. He is a protector and he is the provider. In the same manner, the wife needs love unconditionally. Not because he res she respects me, I am going to love her. No, 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 that, that doesn't work. Whether she respects me or not, I am going to honor her, I am going to love her. We are going to talk about the need uh, that we have to meet uh, of the other partner. The needs to be met. So I have titled this message as Meet the need. Everybody say meet the need. Meet the need. Right? Meet the need. That means you have to meet the need of your partner in marriage. That's very, very uh, key uh, stuff that we are going to talk about today. And we believe that God will touch you uh, this morning. Amen? So a successful marriage, a successful marriage and a joyful marriage is like the beautiful picture a portrayal that you see in a cookbook. How many of you have seen a cookbook? Cookbook, have you seen? At least you bought and kept it, never seen it. Never used the recipe, right? These days, we, it is like, uh, like the, uh, you know, internet, you go to the YouTube, you easily find the recipe and you, you, you watch it and you do it. But those days, not the recipes are in the YouTube, right? The cookbook, what you see, the, the finished work or the completed product, is so amazing to look at. It is such a uh, such an appetizer that when you see it itself, your mouth waters. You want to eat it, and so wonderful, colorful, and appetizing. But the problem is, the the real cook. Uh, I mean, the cooked product is not in the picture. But when you flip or on the side, there is a, a process that is given. Correct or not? There is a recipe that is given in that same page or in the, the page that is behind. That is where you start to see, where, where you start to see only when you put those recipe into place. When you start involved in the, in the process of making, bringing all the ingredients together, cooking it the, at the right time that is mentioned. Two minutes mean two minutes only you should cook. So exactly doing what it says is what is very important to get the same out, uh, you know, product that is as an outcome that you see in the picture. If you cook even little longer or if you undercook, it is not going to look like the way you saw it. Can you see that? So what I want to tell you is, in short, marriage is a process. So we come into the, we walk into a marriage thinking all the, all the, uh, we have impression, right? Probably we read, you are, you are very good saints, you are believers in Christ. You are reading the Bible, you know a lot of things about the Bible, what Bible talks about, uh, uh, you know, a marriage and so on and so forth. If you are a heathen, you never read the Bible, it's fine. You watched a movie, you saw some, uh, someone, example uh, of somebody who is leading a very good life. Romba nalla, romba sandoshamana or life mari or picture paathe du, wow, young lord life in bari irukkoum, abdi nanichi, namba in the marriage kulla enter avala. Ana, ana, adhi vandhadhi kapparam paathe, andha mari edhu ulliye. Idhi vera mari irukkye en sonna, it takes time to build such a marriage. Amen? It takes time. It takes effort. You need to bring in the right ingredients. You need to bring in the right things and uh, put them in the right measure and then bring out that flavor. Then you get this wonderful, joyful marriage. Hallelujah! That's why we give you so many ingredients, so many thoughts from the Bible, from the Word of God and practically so that you get what? The recipe. So don't just see the recipe and be like the modern day, modern day woman, not cook them. Also, some of the modern women, you are very good. Amen. 
you are you are you are intelligent you are capable hallelujah you can cook wonderful thing after seeing the thing so there we are talking we are starting to see about the differences in the marriage differences in a man and a, a woman makeup so i told you first one the, in the way they created it was very different god created man to be from the from the mud from the sand and he squeezed them but for women he cla- clearly and craftily crafted them sculpted them right so beautifully tenderly angle shape panirka right so that way god created them differently secondly i told you they are wired differently remember that story so appreciating this wiring differently is very very key and i want to bring to you another important factor in which they they are very different is in the language in the in the in the way they speak is very different a research has been done many years ago and they brought in all the babies before they speak okay before they speak they brought all the kids and they put them in a room boy male kids and female kids they put them and they observed put a camera there and observed for many hours what they do and the chinna kolanda pesa theriyada kolanda but it is starting to speak they found out 15000 words in a day it speaks imagine an infant or i mean a small children a small child who is growing maybe 2 years 3 years or 4 4 uh, years around that time they can speak 15000 words in a day your wife is how many years old multiply that <laughs> she is full of words she is full of words you give one word she will give you 1000 words you give one word one one word uh, answer as a man she give you pages of comprehensions therefore the words that they speak is very different because they have by in their makeup they they have lot of words to speak each of them but the ma- the boy when they observed the boys the little boys instead of speaking so much they were only making noise dum dum dishum dishum that's all oh all that they can speak is maximum word that they speak dishu bom dam damal that's all these are the words that the the boys spoke <laughs> but the girls they have stories to tell you so therefore we need to understand that they are differently made so first thing is the the way they speak is different secondly the way they are going to process things are very different process things are very different that which means thinking versus feeling i want to tell you thinking versus feeling man speaks what he thinks woman speaks what she feels be watchful on this always when she speaks she is speaking her feeling so when she is in the heated argument or heated argument like if she is going to say please go out don't come back or don't see my face i tell you and i warn you never do that but the 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 man the man said you are a stupid woman or you 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 did not do something right abdin sona he is not saying forever you are like that what he says is he analyzed you he analytically saw you clearly and for that particular moment for that particular instant from that particular box only he he thinks that you are you acted stupidly he doesn't keep that but don't think that oh he called me stupid you know he always thinks me that i'm stupid yepiyadu oru naal avan edha solli irpaaru avula da mudichathu so in a heated argument so we have to know what they are actually meaning because especially all these things are very critical when they are in in a in a verge of a quarrel or in a, in the times of uh, you know uh, real challenges what we call conflict management conflict moments only these kind of things have to come into your mind and say hey i have to make sure yeah she is speaking but she is only speaking her feeling so therefore a man uh, is not like that man when he speaks he he is just speaking what he is uh, what he has understood and what he has analyzed so this is the very reason okay this is the very reason for their arguments many of the times okay these are some of the very reasons why we go into arguments and if you know that very clearly then we can avoid them okay they we can avoid these arguments because we are called for a higher purpose okay later on i will tell you can we have those slides 
so i will tell you in what way they are going to be different the words that they speak are different i said the language that they are going to speak different so i'm going to bring you there are many words okay but i'm going to give you few words only okay for sample and then we are going to uh, move forward look at that 5 minutes in women's dictionary 5 minutes can be an indefinite time honey how long will it take idho vandutten 5 minutes how long will you get <laughs> take time to get ready sometimes it can be 5 minutes that 5 minutes in in i'm not talking about you who are you are better off don't think you know that i'm talking about an average woman for man 5 minutes mean 5 minutes okay but you may be different also some man also will take more than 5 minutes so don't th- take the extremes we are talking about the the norms we are talking about the stereotypes வெளங்க தான் நான் சொல்கிறது அப்போது அஞ்சு நிமிஷம் அப்படின்னு அவங்க ஒரு ஒரு பெண் சொன்னாங்க யூஸ்வலாக அவங்க வந்து அஞ்சு நிமிஷத்தில் வரமாட்டாங்கன்னு தெரிஞ்சுக்கலாம் ரைட் ஸோ யூ ஹேவ் டு பி ரெடி டு வெயிட் ஸோ பெட்டர் யூ கோ டவுன் ஸ்டார்ட் த கார் அண்ட் தென் வெயிட் அட் டைம்ஸ் தே வில் கம் ரைட் தென் த வேர்ட் நத்திங் இஸ் ஆல்சோ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அ உமன் சேஸ் நத்திங் மீன்ஸ் தே ஹேவ் சம்திங் தே ஹேவ் சம்திங் டெஃபினெட்லி தெர் இஸ் சம்திங் தட்ஸ் வை தே சே நத்திங் if they say in anger not normally when they say nothing means nothing but i'm talking about in conflict situation when they say i don't have uh, anything abdin sonnaanga na be be watchful be watchful that means there is something okay don't leave there and they, they you you don't think everything is settled there is something maybe brewing inside the heart but uh, as i told you for man when he says nothing he is uh, nothing but not all cases okay sometimes the man also can uh, act differently okay then sai a sai sai is you know abada abindra or sai you know perumochin solvanga le a sai when a man sighs he you can understand that everything in his life is very smooth and settled no big issues abindra artho but a woman sighs that means something is beginning and it literally means you are a stupid in a heated argument she is going to sigh that means you have done something grave you have done something very Uh, what you are not supposed to do adoda mudichu right lastly the in the argument sometimes or in 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 cases of you know conversation like that heated conversation if she says go ahead i mean if a man says go ahead it means go ahead proceed okay i'm okay with that nardo oh, no sometimes when women say go ahead that means i've given you i'm giving you second chance for you i'm giving you second chance better go ahead and correct it okay give right explanation go ahead go ahead let me see that's what it means <laughs> man says go ahead is different he says go ahead okay but woman says go ahead let me see <laughs> let me see correct or not if you're not giving right explanation then the then the cycle begins if you're not going to give right explanation not rectify it correctly then this go ahead will become a big sigh in a short period of time the go ahead will become a sigh and the sigh means a big sigh right that means you are acting really weird stupid and if the sigh is not controlled at that moment it's going to create something nothing and arguments about nothing and the argument over nothing will last for at least 5 minutes that means indefinite time sometimes week sometimes days sometimes it can go for a longer period of time many a times the average couple average uh, married people go through such problems in life they quarrel over nothing and they indefinitely go on a fast of speaking okay so be watchful about that so they are made different and these are the languages that at times we need to know what happens so that which means i want to say a wife uh, for example is actually a woman or a woman is emotional about certain things but men are logical women are emotional men are logical women are emotional men are logical that's why women emotes avanga emotional dhan pesuvaanga but men they will speak logically and they will calculate and and uh, speak 
So now let us look into knowing these differences is why I'm saying all these things is so that you can understand and complement because you are made as a perfect female. He is made as a perfect male and therefore you need to know these differences so that you can complement. The design is a complementing design. The design is a compatible design. Nobody can say I can live without a woman. That's the wrong way because you are, God said it is not good for man to be alone. God knows that. In his design, he kept that vacuum so that it is only fulfilled through the wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are not married, it is through the sisters and the family members, okay? The, the female in the family. But, but if, it is not, if you are married, this kind of things are the emotional things I am talking about. It is satisfied by, the, by your wife. By your wife. Amen. So therefore, the, let's go into look at the needs now, okay? Okay. Uh, now knowing the difference, now each one has different needs. These needs, we need to understand what exactly man needs and what exactly woman needs and you need to supply that. That's why God has kept us for. Okay, let's look at the difference in the needs of the man and female, the man and the uh, woman, okay. So one of the greatest problem that we have seen, uh, even in counseling, we have, uh, you know, in the experience that we are uh, teaching this for a long period of time now, we see that the couples don't actually realize that they need their spouse uh, differences to make that, as I just now told you, to complement their, their vacuums, okay? Philippians 2.3, let's go to Philippians 2.3. Good news Bible says, do not do anything from selfish ambition or from a cheap desire to boast, but be humble towards one another, always considering others better than yourself. That is a very important factor that uh, you need to understand that the Bible teaches us that you need to look for others' need more than your need. Okay? That's what we will see right now. Okay? So what is men and women needs are? What are men and women needs are? Now since that you have become pros, in knowing all these needs, you need to decode and de decode uh, the things in the communication and then apply that rightfully. Okay, decode the information. Decode the information. What is decode the information? Some of the research, and I told you the book that I referred to you last uh, week uh, by uh, Emerson Egris, Egris, uh, Dr. Emerson Egris, and in that book, Love and Respect, they have done a lot of research and uh, doing this. They found that 73 percentage of men who were uh, uh, surveyed, they all want in the, in the marriage, they want the wife to respect them. And the 64 percentage of the female, they said, man has to love them. Man has to love them more. These are couples who are talking about it. So what is that? Man has to love the wife and the husband has to, sorry, husband has to love the wife and the wife has to Respect the husband, right? Submit to him, okay? So that's why the book is titled Love and Respect. But actually, both of them need both. Correct or not? Each of us need, uh, all of us, I mean, as a man, I need both love and also respect. I cannot say, you give me only respect and you don't love me. No, no, no. You also need love. They also need respect. But the proportion is different. They need more of uh, love than respect. And you need more of respect and uh, than love. Can you see that? Because the need on the outside is very differently perceived. Okay? When the wife does certain things, then it is considered as respect. For example, if the wife is not speaking much, okay, in, uh, in, in, uh, uh, against the husband, okay, not just speaking, against when, when he gives a thought, when he gives a suggestion, if she is going to keep quiet and not immediately say wrong, what you said is wrong. You know, maybe you, you should not have said that. Anumarala Sulama, if she is going to keep quiet or take, oh, thank you for this suggestion. Okay, maybe we have to try this. If it is sona, then automatically it is perceived as respect for man. Can you see that? Or when the woman comes and says, darling, thank you for, you know, taking care of the family. But just an expression of the, uh, the care said and expressed to the husband is taken as respect. Amen? In the same manner, for the woman, a simple act of kindness is perceived as love. You know, man has the habit of, you know, I love you, 
means i i sleep with you i provided you that means i loved you no she needs a companion and she needs a tender act of kindness that is interpreted as love for her i'm going to talk certain things very uh, very little deep because you are all uh, believers and uh, you know uh, you are all uh, kind of matured and married so i believe uh, it's not censored and all okay uh, but i'm going to talk to you certain things which is very very important that the church has to speak because the church is not speaking i understand that people are going elsewhere and learning wrong things so better we speak here amen so if a man wants to help a uh, uh, sorry if, if a woman wants to help a man fulfill his purpose she must learn his needs and and vice versa if a, if a man has to fulfill his purpose in life then he she also need to know him and he also need uh, to know her okay both of them know, need to know each other and their needs uh, what they exactly need and they have to give it yes okay Uh, underline that so consider this example why uh, i will tell you later genesis 2 18 it says it is good it is not good for man to be alone i will make you a suitable helper why did god create a helper for man to fulfill his call a woman is in the life of a man is to fulfill his call in in god's kingdom very very important a woman cannot be running on her own she has to support help complement the husband to fulfill his purpose that god has kept him in the kingdom okay so what are the primary differences the primary differences in this need the primary need of a male is first is respect you see there second is recreational companion third is considered to be sexual intimacy okay these three are very important the top most to priority for a man the women needs are love first thing is love second is conversation conversation third is affection look at that needs are different a man need respect as i just now sh- shared to you and a woman needs love a man need recreational companion but the woman needs conversation she is not interested in what jogging you do what uh, running you do she is not interested she need you to sit with her and just talk to her man needs sexual intimacy but the woman doesn't it's not that she doesn't need it she is not hateful about it but that's not her priority even in that sexual intimacy he is looking for the affection many a times men and women miss that let me explain to you why let's go to if uh, ephesians 5:22 to 27 i'm going to read from message translation for time's sake wives understand and support your husbands in ways that shows your support for christ christu ku eppadi namba support pannuvomo adu pole you have to support your husband you know why sometimes man is not very keen in uh, going to church some men not not all of you are here or you know who are some of them who are godly overcome that why men uh, men don't want to go to the church the woman seems to be pious most of the time because they think this woman is not honoring me all the time she is going to the church 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 you need to correct something there so what she what he does sometimes is he brings her nee motu poi tu va apdin solittu ange ne escape aayiran ngane ipo apdi irukanga they drop children in the church they drop because the due respect and the support that we give to christ as you support christ you need to understand and support your husband amen many many women like that you know they 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 they, they are so submissive when another man say they are okay to do that but when the husband says sometimes they don't do that it gets deep inside his heart thank god he is created with an empty box he don't remember most of the time abhi the na imagine like the woman if he is going to be like that oh my god havoc both of them are entangled balls and then abhi irukom bomb blasting every day then god would have said better you be separate but this man sometimes don't bother they they forget it it's isn't it wow where was i so a woman 
and some some of the some of the women respect the it's nothing wrong respecting honoring pastor and looking to them but they do overdo it the husband sometimes don't like it that means you have to give the due respect and submission to the the man under you first as you do he needs to know that he needs to know that uh, that she respects that she respects me more than anyone about one pastor gave me this testimony it was very touching let me tell you that this man you know they have they have long meetings and all uh, but this husband is not fully into christ yet apo he is jumping around everywhere not very uh, keen on god and, and things like that apo this uh, wife is a very regular church goer spirit filled a tongue talker you know demon possessed sorry not demon possessed demon casting woman okay apo avanga vandu and the husband varli sariya varamaatinga nanga appdi solittu ani ivanga meeting ku vandranga this pastor identify and said uh, call this woman i am giving you leave earlier you please go home and you tell your husband that the pastor sent you earlier to serve you to serve you நீ ஃபஸ்ட்டு போய் என்ன பண்ணுமா உன்னோட ஹஸ்பண்டுக்கு சேவை செய்யணும்னு சொல்லி பாஸ்டர் என்ன சீக்கிரம் அனுப்பிட்டாருன்னு அந்த சிட்டை எழுதி சைன் போட்டு கொடுத்துருக்கேன் அதை எடுத்துகிட்டு போய் அந்த அம்மா காமிச்சோடனே த த உமன் ப்ராட் இட் டு த ஹஸ்பண்ட் அண்ட் ஷோட் இட் அந்த ஹஸ்பண்ட் டுக் த ஸ்ட்ரீட் யூ ஹி வாஸ் வெரி சர்ப்ரைஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஷி கேம் ஏர்லி ஹவு கம் யூ கம் ஏர்லி அண்ட் ஷீ செட் ஐம் கோ டு குக் ஃபுட் ஃபார் யூ ஹி வாஸ் ஈவன் மோர் ஷாக்ட் only only thing is he did not get a heart attack after that what happened then she showed this chit and then it is written you know uh, i'm sending her early to what kind of a pastor is he usually this pastor keep the woman here and pray longer period of time but this this pastor is very radical and he send you home wow then he said i want to come to church so he came to the last uh, uh, you know the service and he sat at the at the end of the ch- church then the pastor said i want to meet your husband then he said then the, they both conversed and uh, in, uh, in the conversation the pastor told uh, the man see it is important that i believe you know i believe that you need to first respect your husband that's why i sent her so he was very touched and immediately he gave his life to christ and he started to become the elder of the church amen so so much of growth so sometimes uh, we wives become a stumbling block for our husbands you can be tongue talking hollering and uh, you know rolling around the floor but if you do not respect your husband give the due submission then then something is missing they cannot connect god amen i know some some of you will find it difficult to say amen but this is a fact amen praise god look at that verse 23 the husband provides leadership to his wife the way christ does to his church not by domineering but by cherishing so just as church submits to christ as he exercises such leadership wife should likewise submit to her to their husbands verse 25 says husband go all out in your love for your wives exactly as christ did for the church a love marked by giving not getting christ love makes the church whole and his words evoke her beauty and every everything he does and says is designed to bring the best out of her there comes the beautiful element of love and respect that you can have for one another so respect man does not desire respect he needs it it's like an oxygen to him man needs respect like an oxygen to him if you if you start squeezing this tube which is supplying oxygen he may suffocate he may start suffocating he needs respect everybody say he needs respect all women say he needs respect who needs respect your husband needs respect amen your husband needs respect it is the i i only gave you the church example but there are things that is happening with without uh, not within the church outside the church you have to go and mend yourself sometimes your church you are very good you are respecting but outside the church you don't respect how about that please make sure that you respect them honor them amen so it is the, why why he he needs a respect because it is a part of his nature that is how he is made he is a part of the nature he is a leader he is a protector and he is the provider a leader poi apdi easy a pesilama in your family he is the leader so how can you be like that so you need to give him respect he is a provider he is your he is a protector அவன் ப்ரொடெக்ட் பண்றாரா இல்லையான்றது அடுத்த விஷயம் பட் ஹி இஸ் அ ப்ரொடெக்டர் 
why i am saying that is sometimes they need undeserved respect because in our culture in the way we brought up we think you need to earn respect what he is not even acting like that why should i give respect if you are doing that then the marriage is in danger the marriage is in danger in the same manner the wife needs love unconditionally not because he res- she respects me i am going to love her no 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 that that doesn't work whether she respects me or not i am going to honor her i am going to love her so man needs it he is a provider respect is the core of his esteem so wife has to admire him submit to him portray respect to him when when she submit to him it is portrayed as respect to him remind him of his capabilities neenga nalla irukinga ungala paakradhukku romba beautiful ah irukke sorry handsome ah irukke apdi solanum wow thank you for thank you for uh, you know uh, thank you for buying that for me appreciate thank you for taking me to the dinner hallelujah so uh, she, he he needs respect and she needs now how does she need love god created female so that male would have someone with him to share on the earthly love to help man fulfill his purpose on earth to love means to cherish her and to care for her love means it's not as i just now told you it's not just uh, as simple as it's spelled as s e x intimacy no sometimes men for man when it comes to love we we okay let let's say we okay we always think it is something to do with sexual intimacy that means we have satisfied oh i love you what but that is not what she wants alone can you see that many families are broken because of that i tell you especially uh, the in the beginning of the marriage it is it is okay but i know long time back when we were counseling a couple they said that after marriage there are two children now then they don't have any kind of sexual intimacy the lady was crying when we were praying so we need to counsel but they were not very open for counseling that time but do not know we we could not follow them up but i i will tell you there are marriages in havoc maybe all of you are not 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 even thinking about it now but in the in the days to come just watch that it is very important for a man i told you i will give an example you have a car the car runs in what engine fuel that's the right answer thank you fuel petrol and gasoline right it, it needs uh, petrol and the, the, do you like petrol do you like to drink petrol is it so desirable to do that no the car needs it you need to give it for it to run for a man sexual intimacy is like that of a gasoline for him like a petrol you know there there is there is this synergy that god has kept if if a, if a woman needs what she needs then she need to give what he needs if a man needs what he needs then the woman have to give what he needs what she needs that, that is why the difference is so every time when you know the different it is not to say you are different so that's why you are thinking like that abdin solradukkala the difference is to say it should remind you of what you need to do if i need that kind of a sexual intimacy to with her then i need to take care of her first properly i need to show her affection every time i need to show affection it is not so difficult to show affection what is the affection that she needs all that she needs is 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 a, uh, it's a burger which is cut into two half and share with him you just bring her to a to a coffee shop and uh, you know get one piece of burger cut into two and then you share that's that's it that night is hallelujah night for you hallelujah you know somebody said this way you know i liked it because when you have that kind of because sexual intimacy sometimes we don't talk about in the church I, that's why i told you we need to do a se- separate seminar on it. not not that way but what i'm saying is we need to talk about it so that the church is aware and bring those people who are lost because of that you know where they go that's why the infidelity come that's why pornography comes that leads to sin you know why because it is not fully satisfied in the family women all the time praying and have all the uh, you know hallelujah and singing and most of the time fasting i will very soon bring you to the word the scripture which says you know first uh, corinthians chapter 7 deals with that 
fasting only for a short period of time forever fasting and never let the woman uh, the man touch him that's all it is like it is like a petrol station which is which has no petrol in it automatically what they do they go to another petrol so don't do that okay but i am telling you it is not that case you need to meet the need of your husband amen to love means to cherish and care her because she was created for the purpose of receiving she is a receiver that's why she goes to the shop she wants to receive everything hallelujah the man is a giver you have to give whether you like it or not you need to give sometimes you may have to go and sit outside as long as she finishes all her tour inside the market and come out maybe she will buy or may not that's a different story but at least you are with her she needs companionship amen so truly understand what they need truly understand what they need amen so man need to spend time with the women that's one of the biggest thing man need to spend time with the women how do you know sometimes you just have to call her and make her sit next to you that's that's all she wants so conversation is what women needs not the uh, not the the recreational so sometimes the wife now wife this is women a man doing but what the wife need to do you need to know your husband's priorities i mean his likes he likes to play badminton maybe he likes to play games he was a good athlete before because after he married you he is not even going for walking so understand what your husband likes you he needs a friend if you are not the friend then he his colleague will become your friend the colleagues will become the friends they will they will because they they tend to like i mean the know the know the differences so we don't allow that amen lastly lastly look at that look at that uh, conversations first corinthians 7 3 2 6 6 the marriage bed must be place of mutuality the husband seeks to satisfy his wife the wife seeking to satisfy her husband marriage is not a place to stand up for your rights marriage is a decision to serve the others whether in bed or out of bed abstaining from sex is permissible for a period of time if you both agree to do it and if it is for the purpose of prayer and fasting but only for such time the come then come back together again satan has an ingenious way of tempting us when we are least expected it i am not understand commanding this uh, period of abstaining only providing my best counsel if you should choose them so therefore i just want to tell you that there is differences in male and female i have given you a lot of uh, practical wisdom practical wisdom in carrying out this needs because the word of god is very clear that we need to follow them and to understand the difference is to put them into use knowing what our partner needs what our partner needs and therefore if if this is this need is why i am saying all these needs are very different and it has to be given careful attention if the needs are not met for long that is a, da- a danger for the marriage that's a danger for me it may go to a first stage of signaling because there will be empty sign and after that the car will stop moving we don't want that situation we don't want the situation hallelujah may god give a divine deliverance this morning i know you are going through something maybe in your life you need some places where you need to correct you need to know something you need to change yourself in certain areas